Um, I invite you to do what feels right in your body every day that we wake up. <laughs> but we also need to check in. <laughs> so we know how to nourish ourselves. We know how to take care of ourselves. That is the beginning of every yoga practice is a check-in. Because if you are mindless, we may do something that harms ourselves. So I invite you just to put your hands on your legs, straighten your back, relax through your body. Maybe you think of a word that your body needs or your mind needs. And let that be your intention for the practice. Continue to breathe. Intentional breaths. Breaths with a purpose. Purpose to regulate the nervous system. To send oxygen to your tissues. To revive your experience. And gently talk, tuck your chin towards your throat, towards your chest, and just rock your head a little side to side, shooting your back a bit. Again, at any time, if I offer something as a suggestion that doesn't work for you, please make the choice not to do it because it's going to cause harm. Let's see if you can make your circles go a little bigger and maybe it goes all the way up. This is your body. Your body. Maybe circle the other direction. We'll just take our arms out to the side. Check out, make sure you don't have space. Your arms out to the side. Keep your elbows bent so your shoulders are relaxed. And then we're going to take our hands and bring them palms together. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, open. Exhale, palms back together. Inhale. Exhale. Keep moving and breathing. We'll turn the sound on if you use it. Allow yourself to have that freedom to feel like you're flying or you are a bird with wings. It is nice, gentle, smooth movement. Sometimes I explain why style yoga is a little like Tai Chi. <laughs> it's not fast, it's mindful, it's slow. Last one, bring your palms together and then put them to your thumbs to your front. Sit up a little taller so you can press your feet. A little more into the ground, wiggle a little bit deeper into the chair. You're going to hinge at the waist, bring your shoulders still on top of your knees, and then turn to your feet. Look over your left Inhale, look back down to the floor in front of you. Exhale, turn your chin, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, turn your chin back to center. Exhale, release your hands to your shins and let your body just drape over your hands. Check in with your back if it's causing pain. Anything, 
look higher or your head above your shoulders. Let's take our right elbow to our right knee and right hand to your left knee. Sit on up, kind of to the main vertex. Lower your left hand back down, switch it out from your left elbow to your left knee, left hand to your right knee, keep each other. And then lower back. Now inhale, bring your arms forward like you're flying. Press down into your feet. And then inhale, come all the way up with a strong back. Let's come lower your arms to the side. We're moving to leg lifts next. So inhale, both arms forward. Exhale, grab a hold of your left knee. Draw it in and around your back. Chin comes back. Inhale, lift it forward. Exhale, lift your right knee. Chin comes down. Inhale, lower your foot. Lower both arms down to your side. Reset. Inhale, lift your lower arms. Left knee. Next, your hands, please. Lower your foot. Reach your foot up. Both hands to your right shin. Squeeze. Both arms up. Lower both arms down to your side. Relax. Try two more rounds of this. You can take your time. You know where we're going. Now squeeze in. And so lower your arms, relax. So hold your left hand. And hold the little thumbs up. So right knee. Inhale, the little thumbs up. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your lids of your eyes. Breathe. Notice the shift in your heart. Open your eyes, toe your feet out wider than your hips, turning your toes away from one another. And working on our little goddess pose here. Inhale, bring your arms up. And then exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, you can make a fist and pull down if you like to add in the hand. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Feel like your crunchies in my shoulders. <laughs> it's all right. It doesn't mean they're broken or <laughs> there's something wrong. Two more. Your hands down to your knees. Drop your right shoulder forward and look over your left. Inhale, look center, bringing your right shoulder back. Exhale, left shoulder forward, looking over your right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Center. Exhale. Take your time, do a few more. Back on the shoulder forward. What do you think sounds fabulous? It's getting it. One more to each side. Back up. Lift each foot, set each foot down. You're walking through some grass. <laughs> Push 
Monster walks here. Lovely. Great. One more to each side. And we're going to sit back up, press your feet into the ground. So feel your feet back in. Lean back and lift your left foot. This hurts your knee, be mindful. Back to a straight spine, lower your foot. Lean back, lift your right foot. Your tongue, right leg. Exhale, back to center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, feel it. <laughs> a little bit. Yes, okay, good. Feedback. <laughs> one more each side. Last one. Slide your hands down your legs into a forward hold. Roll into a ball, whatever feels good here. Shoulders relaxed, the arms go heavy. Just look at all the dog hair on the legs. It's like never ending with a white dog. There are a lot of black pants. How it is. <laughs> and come up strong. Reach your arms forward. Lift your gaze forward. How do you feel this? One more year than one of the Shoulders. Thread the needle next, so if you remember this one. Feet are you know parallel, and then we'll take the right hand to the right leg. Left arm's going to reach out. And you're going to grab this left hand underneath the right arm as you do that. Reach over here like you're trying to touch some on this side and then bring it back. Now. Take this left hand reach it up and over. Maybe you hold it back. Taking it to the other side, the right arm comes out. Thread it through the keyhole here. Exhale. Let me get the spine straight. I have to remind myself to try to go back to what the spine should be. Two more. Last one. Take your right hand to your right knee, round your back like cat. See if you can bring your shoulders closer to your ears, like you're trying to cover up your ears with your shoulders. Nice big breath in. Oh, sweep them up. Exhale, bring your hands back behind your back. So the fingertips point towards the seat of the chair. And we're going to bring the shoulders forward and back. We've done these before. It's like the butterfly wings. The elbows point back. 
when you try to bring them forward. And it's shoulder right because I was request that second the hips. <laughs> Exhales when they comes forward. Inhales when they open their back. Stay here, hands on your low back. Lift your chin. Exhale. Let's reward our wrist. Now take your fingers, interlace them, put the palms over, bring the hands forward, separating your shoulder blades. Inhale, reach your arms up as best you can. Exhale, back out in front of your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, lower your arms, put the palms back over. All right, we're just standing and then we're going to do the double chairs. Come on up. You don't need a chair unless you want to hold on for your balance here. So it's seven feet wide apart. So you've got a bigger base. So it's going to be about you know, a little wider than your hips. And then just like we did when we were starting the practice where we have our arms out, we're going to do the same thing. Inhale, open your arms out. Exhale, bring your hands to your arms. Inhale, open. Maybe look up and do that. So now look down. Exhale, open. Exhale. Take your hands to your hips. We're going to circle a little. So <laughs> this is the part where you can explore movement. Oops, you can make some sounds with your bones. <laughs> You can do whatever you want. That's what's lovely about it. <laughs> I think that you should experiment. Let's <laughs> Now I can just circle the other way and go around. So look here. Your feet back underneath your hips. It's going to take a little bit of concentration. See if we're awake this morning. Even for me, it takes me concentration. So the left arm is going to go out to the side. As the left arm goes out, this one, the right hand goes back. And then as the hand comes down, the right hand goes down. See how it goes? The left arm up, right hand goes back. Right hand, or right hand goes back to the side, right. They gotta move that right arm. Everybody getting it? Let make sure they're getting it in line. Inhale. Mm -hmm. 
We'll try the other side. Right arm goes out to the right side. As that happens, the left hand goes behind. Right. Concentration going on here, I feel it. <laughs> Now, if you like to hold the chair for balance, you can. If you think you're okay, we're just going to take our hands forward and lift up. Then we're going to work on lifting the heels. <laughs> Take your time. Balance. Slow control going down. We all love possibly. Gravity wants to go down fast. <laughs> pause for a moment here. Maybe shift out the right. When we get to the chair, we're doing hamstring, so we should probably do at least a couple forward folds. If you don't want to do that's okay. But if you would like, we're going to face the chair, take the arms up, and then hands come to the seat of the chair. All right, off cue. So we're going to knees face the seat of the chair. You know, inhale, soft knees, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to the seat of the chair. Okay, now. Bend the knees deeper and then stand up. Exhale, lower the arms and relax. Try again. Inhale, both arms forward. Exhale, hands to the chair. Head drops down if it's available. Inhale, bend the knees, stand. Exhale, lower the arms. I think we can do a few more. I'll walk around and just make sure everybody's getting it pretty good. So just practice your forward folds. Just stretch out your back. Remember to bend the knees when you come up. That supports your the legs taking your weight. Just like if you were lifting a couch, you would never just lift them straight back. You bend the knees, the legs. When you're done, turn around and have a seat. <laughs> so, well, um, is everybody sitting on the, the chair to the right of them? Maybe let's do that. That way I can help the rights and the lefts here. Because <laughs> that's always a challenge. So empty chair to the right. Empty chair to the right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is part of the process. We're learning our rights and our lefts again. We've lost the music for some odd reason. Um, so what I'd like you to do is put you can angle the chair wherever you like. But we're going to put the right leg. It's out to the side. Left knee would be facing 12 o'clock. So can anybody already feel something in your leg just like mm -hmm. So once you feel okay, so we might have to do But what I like you to feel is the back of your knee, that right knee. If it is causing pain, bend it. <laughs> like soften that area. Because we just have to remember this. Now we're going to take the right hand to your left knee and move it over. This is going to be a deeper stretch in that 
Inhale, come back. Exhale, lean over to the left. <laughs> Take your time. Get to your work. And then we're going to turn towards the right leg. <laughs> Take both arms forward. Oh, I can feel that twist already. I'm going to just this. <laughs> Take both arms forward and up. And then exhale, reach towards your shin or the seat of the chair. Really hold this one, giving the nice hamstring stretch. You're also getting a back stretch here. So be mindful of the don't locking out, the locking of the back of the, the right knee here. Stay and breathe. Now, I'd like you to try to keep the right hand somewhere down on the right leg or the chair, and then turn to the middle of the room or forward and lift the left arm up. Now lower your left hand back to the chair. Inhale, lift. And then exhale. And two more. Split. And again, just fold over your right. For a deep stretch. Slowly lift yourself back up. Ooh. Everybody okay? Legs still attached? <laughs> just take this foot off. And then we're going to look at you to the other chair. <laughs> A little switch of the chair. And you can put it way out or kind of at a 45 degree angle, whichever one works for you. Check out the left side. Just sit up, see how that's going. <laughs> All right, left hand's going to the right knee, front of the head lifts, exhale, lean to your right knee, inhale, lift it up, exhale, bring it back down, down, exhale, down, Two more rounds. Okay. Now we check out again the back of the left knee, make sure it's not too tight. And we're going to turn towards the leg. Lean into it. Check it out. Remember, ligament cell stretch. <laughs> Only muscles that we feel them, the hamstring muscles, not the back to the knees. There's probably where you feel it, but mindful of that. Now we'll keep 
the left hand down, turn, look towards the middle. On the hand, inhale, open the right arm. Exhale, lower the right arm. Down. Let's talk about that. We're going to hold the left leg. Take the right arm over. Reach. Or hold the back of your head. A nice stretch. And the intercostal muscles on the right side. Now lower your right hand back down. One more stretch right in front. Left hand. For the left. Um, but I feel something <laughs> shake out her leg. <laughs> now we're going into a twist where we're going to put both feet on the chair. If you don't want to put both, try one. We're going to start with since we're already here. We'll put the left foot up front, mm -hmm. and the right foot next to them. If this is too much, take the right foot down, but then you still face forward, face to. The side. All right, now legs are going to the left, body's going to lift up, and you're going to turn to the right. <laughs> Woo. And then look back center. Try it again. Exhale, twist, keep your spine lifted. <laughs> Don't force it, just kind of turn. Take both hands. Reach down towards your ankles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take your feet off of the chair. Do a little scoop to the other chair going around. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So again, you can adjust the, the where the chair is is how deep the twist is. So if you want less, chair more forward, more more chair further back. So start with the right foot going up first. Again, the option is to always keep the left foot off. Um, Foot on the ground, or you can add in both feet on the chair. It's not going to work. It's okay. Sit up. <laughs> not going to work. Okay. Now, this time the right hand's going to go to the left leg. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, draw back your push. Okay, you can reach back. You can say high five. <laughs> and bring it back. Inhale. Keep it slow. Sells the twist. Last one. Both arms forward. So reach over.
When ready, lean back, slide your hands up your leg. Remove the left foot, the right foot. We're going to take the chair now. What aren't you moving? Sorry. All right, so we're going to bring our feet to the outside of the chair in front of this chair. So your knees are out and apart. All right, so many options. Inhale the arms. Now exhale, you can reach to the back of the chair, which is in the middle of taller chairs, or the seat of the chair. If your elbows want to go down, let them. And we'll use this as a stay posture, unless you want to lift the head and lower it. Are not feeling something in your inner thighs. Wiggle your feet out wider. <laughs> you can always add and subtract as needed here. Okay, I'm breathing It's our rest. <laughs> Some of us is not a resting pose. You are complete. Hands help lift you back up. And then, if possible, you're going to take the left foot and let the knee fall out to the side so that the knife edge, the pinky edge, of your left foot is on the chair. So you're going to let that knee fall out. Then I'll feel a little opening here. All right. <laughs> and you sit up a little taller. Maybe you need to scoot a little more to the edge of the chair. If I already feel this. Right here. I'm going to take my arms up. Exhale, reach forward. Well, we're going to take our arms back. Exhale, slide your toes. <laughs> Little yoga joke. In, back up. Back up. Now stay on this. Up. Lower your arms, keep your foot where it is. Now, if your right foot's on the outside of that right chair, bring it forward so it's underneath your right toes are under the chair. You're going to take the right hand to the left knee, lift through the front of your head. There's another twist. You're going to feel on something. <laughs> okay, come back to center. Now, straighten just your left leg. <laughs> Right leg and stay under the chair. Somebody will be able to switch your out and get longer. I right, take both arms forward and up. And exhale, moving at the waist and reach. Exhale, reach. Exhale. Person back, right leg bent. Ah, can you feel the work we're doing? I'm not to say he's the wife, but we all know. <laughs> all right. 
bring down your left foot and bring the um, right foot up, go putting letting the knee fall out to the side, and then go back to shoulders on top of your head. So you feel like you're not going to fall out of the chair again. Bring the arms forward and exhale, lean down. And So we're going to stay for an extra breath or two. Come so down and hold it. We can reach a little more further. So. Make the twist. Left hand to right knee. Right hand behind you or wherever you want to hold onto the chair. Lift through the crown of your head so the spine stays straight. Gently encourage the twist. So a job to her back to center. Bring your left foot under the chair. Straighten your right leg. Yeah. Forward and up. Exhale, softly lift. Two more. Can you relax your jaw, your face, <laughs> something? You're ready to bring your arms forward and up. Lean back. Ooh. All right, let's add the left foot next to the right. <laughs> Check in. Maybe let's bring our hands to our belly. You can softly close your eyes if you wish. Just do some focused breathing here. So in your mind, in your mind's eye, I'd like you to picture these body parts and just think about like an elevator. You're, you're kind of creating just this little stop at each floor. Floor one is your nose, that's your inhale. Throat, chest, belly. Exhale from your belly, chest, throat, nose. Inhale, nose, throat, Chest, belly. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. Now keep going, doing this on your own. And see as you inhale, that your hands move because your belly is pushing into them. As you exhale, see if the belly contracts and you feel like you're letting air out of the belly. Stay with this conscious
as you continue to breathe, hold your attention now away from the happening or the moving of the breath to how you feel right now. How does it feel to be, how does it feel to be you right now? Your mind to your chest. How does your chest feel right now? Does it feel in your belly right now? How does it feel all over your body? Observe if there's any tension or restraint of any sort. See if you can soften if there is. There's not, that's okay too. Now try to sense this moment in time in terms of your life continuum. A space between your past, your present, and your future. Feel yourself in this moment in time in your current surroundings and try to sense how you are engaging your life right now. Are you in control? Are you wrestling for control? Are you trying hard or hardly trying? Take a moment to answer these within yourself without any real judgment. How does it feel to live your life right now? How does it make your head feel? Does it feel in your heart? Your belly? In your entire body? How comfortable, how present and content are you in your life right now? Now imagining softening the intensity of your engagement with your life, softening the grip of it and letting your body soften with it. Breathe deeply and let your brain go limp. Create space in your chest and relax your belly. Imagine the boundaries of your body softening as it moves out of focus of it. Take a few breaths. As you continue to breathe, imagine how you want your life to feel to you. What kind of feelings do you want your life to be? How do you want your life to feel in your head? And try to cultivate this feeling. How do you want your life to feel in your chest? Try to cultivate the feeling in your chest that you want. Want to feel in your belly. Cultivate that feeling in your belly. How do you want your body to feel every day of your life? Breathe deep and invite that feeling in. Well, ask yourself. Are there things or activities in your life that already make you feel that way? 
what aspects of your life are working? What type of creative pursuits or hobbies or fun activities make you feel that? In the next few moments, envision what your life would feel like if you had more moments. Feeling to breathe. Feeling this breath. This inhale. Feeling this out. Losing what you just learned in this moment of stillness. Bank it in your memory so that when we leave our practice today, that you remember what you want out of your life. What are your priorities? What can you let go of to make more space for the things you want? Hands on your body, just feel it again. Notice the body. I'll bring your arms out to the side. Keep your eyes closed. Just keep your arms out. And exhale, bring your hands back to your belly button. Inhale, open your arms. This time, bring your hands to your chest. Open your arms, receiving. Exhale, bring your hands to the front of your throat. Open your arms. Exhale, bring your fingertips to your forehead. Exhale, bring your hands and fingertips to the top of your head. Inhale, open your arms, let your hands fall over. Inhale, point your toes away from you. Exhale, point them up towards the ceiling. Inhale, point your toes away. Exhale, point them towards the ceiling. Two more. Bring your hands to prayer. Bow your head towards your heart. I hope you learn something in your practices that you can use when you're not in a class. So you take this peace of mind with you to show others what it's like to be at peace. Thank you.
for allowing me to read to you. Thank you. Hope your life's work Well, I'm going to say, glad to be back. I'm so glad to be back. It has a business. Thank I'm you. Enjoy your day. Yes.